Although often inaccurate and subject to exceptions, equitable maximums are commonly used to justify particular decisions and express some of the basic principles that have guided the development of equity. The main maxims are as followed. Equity acts in personam. Equity acts on the conscience. Equity aids the vigilant. Equity will not suffer a wrong without remedy. Equity follows the law. Equity looks at the intent, not the form. Where the equities are equal, the earlier in time prevails. He who seeks equity must do equity. He who comes to equity must come with clean hands. Equality is equity. Equity looks on that as done which ought to be done. Equity imputes an intent to fulfil an obligation. Equity will not assist a volunteer. So the maxims of equity are legal maxims that serve as a set of principles of rules which are said to govern the way in which equity operates. They tend to illustrate the qualities of equity in contrast to the common law as a more flexible, responsive approach to the needs of the individual inclined to take into account the party's conduct and worthiness. They are developed by the English Court of Chancery and other courts that administer equity jurisdiction, including the law of trusts. Although most fundamental and time-honoured of the maxims listed on this page are often referred to on their own as maxims of equity or the equitable maxims, the first equitable maxims is the equity delights of equality or equity is equality like other kinds of legal maxims or principles they were originally and sometimes still expressed in latin so it's a good uh, thing to have a look into equity and what they mean